Hello everyone and welcome back to All The Mods 9 To The Sky. I hope you guys enjoy episode 10. In the last episode, we set up quite a lot of stuff. Well, I guess the main thing that we set up here was the mob farm. This is the regular mob farm, which we're about to complete. And then the animal mob farm, which we're also going to complete. But we have to do this one first. So what we're going to do right now, since we finally were able to make our GM chicken feed, we got enough experience out of that thing to finally get it. We need to go find a regular chicken. I think I saw one in the farm, but it looked a little small. There's one sitting here perfectly waiting for us all we gotta do is feed it to a chicken can explode and it's gonna give us our rotten egg which is perfect that is the only thing we need and now all we gotta do is go put it into the farm but really quickly i'm gonna set up uh, the balloon to, to do that safely and then we're gonna go to our center block which I, I think is like here i think this is the center right this looks centered i think um probably <laughs> um oh shit i didn't know the fans were on <laughs> <laughs> oh my god okay good news fans are on let's go turn those off <laughs> there are the fans <laughs> why were those on <laughs> I don't remember leaving those on. Oh my god, if those were just not on, you know? Uh, where did the thing go? It must have gone. Oh, it's right here on the floor. Okay, <laughs> there we go. <laughs> okay, they should be off now. They are. Great. <laughs> I've died so many times <laughs> recently. Oh my god. Okay, there we go. Okay, so this should be enough. So it's a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven block. And this is a five block. So if I put this here, this makes a five block of dreadful dirt. And now what we can do is get the hell out of here and break the or and put the last block back in. And then it should be god damn it. <laughs> then it should be done. Um, and I think it took it, so I need to collect it again. Um, put it back down. Now it should be really dark in there. And now all we gotta do is go turn on the fans again because god damn it i didn't know they were on i guess they were on because we just had our farm set up room ready so there we go oh my god i feel so stupid <laughs> i didn't think about it i wasn't i wasn't thinking about that go on and it seems like we might need a demagnetizer actually the the uh the thing might not be collecting quicker than i am but if i'm far enough away it should be collecting quick enough so let me let me get rid of that god damn it okay so we are gonna need a demagnetizer so demag uh the tizer, a regular one uh, prevents up to three blocks prevents up to five blocks so the three block one's cheap the five block needs it and yeah i guess we are gonna need one for the enderman huh because they are also getting out um so you gotta die you gotta die buddy <laughs> there we go and we got another ability totem which is what i'm really after in these is the ability totems i'm hoping to find some good ones in here there we go let's put those away and we're gonna use some other stuff here but let's get out of here oh hello who are you, you have anything interesting this can be used to <laughs> moderate big reactive maybe not the puffer fish but just the water um but yeah okay there we go that should be fine so we're good let's um let's leave it there for a little while we're gonna need to make a few things to actually fix this because i didn't realize that would work uh, or that wouldn't work but we need to get this enderman thing we need to have them not spawning so really quickly i guess before it comes nighttime we're gonna make a few of these um so we just need these which is iron glowstone and uh and redstone which seems like we have the redstone in inventory do we have any glowstone in inventory i think we just put some away so we might need to go get it i don't see it how do we get glowstone again there's a glowstone oh it's in here perfect never mind so there it is that's all the things we need so this should inhibit enderman teleportation inhibits teleportation for entities up to eight blocks away can be attached to any side of solid blocks right click to activate and deactivate so we got to go do that really quickly so hopefully all we got to do is kind of put it here um so for like eight blocks i'm gonna put it in the center if this guy would kindly move ow oh my god that that hit hard <laughs> all right so putting it there and then attaching it and then right clicking it is it on i assume it's on there this looks on yes this is active okay so they shouldn't teleport anymore uh let's uh <laughs> Kill that guy really quickly. There we go. And let's put one on the other side, just because I think that might be a good idea. So there it is. It's on. The phantoms are already spawning, so let's get the hell out of here and let the uh, the things die. Let's let things die and get out of here. It's too chaotic for me right now. <laughs> and now that it's daytime, we can go make our demagnetizer, which should be pretty simple, right? The more expensive one just uses more gold, glowstone, and redstone, but the regular one just uses some iron. So we have iron, uh, we have gold, and we have redstone. We should have enough. And then we need it uh, for the new one. It's just uh, the other one. So let's make um like uh i guess a few of these we're gonna need a few of these one two three four at least at least four um because it only does it in a certain area right so we need to go put these in a good area so i wish i could see the area i hope i can i think putting one here would be good it blocks me from picking up stuff here in this five by five area which is really tiny i do wish it had a bigger radius but um i don't know if i'll actually be going to this area as much but obviously let's um let's try and put it up here so I don't know if one in the center obviously isn't going to do much because we're picking up items from like 11 blocks away. So putting one here, oh, hello, um, would be good. I think he's stuck. Interesting. What a what a weird problem. Okay, maybe we need to actually also fix that. So there's our demagnetizer. It should be functioning. I hope to God it is, but I think we're going to need some more than what we have right now. So that's fine. Uh, what is this? Oh, fragment. I don't even know. What, what are these choo-choo jellies? These choo jellies. What? Are they just make slime balls. Obviously, this isn't doing its job. I need a. I need another one, I guess. There we go. So is this um lining up? 
up. So this is going up to that block, and this is going up to that block. So now we need another one. Need one, I guess. Uh, so what is it? How far does it go? Is it five blocks? So it's probably one, two, three. Yeah, it's only going one, two, three. So one, two, three, and then there. No, actually, no. It's going two. One, two, three, isn't it? Or how much is it going to? It's only going two blocks out, which is annoying. So that means that middle block isn't being covered right now. So I need to put something here. Yeah, so now they're overlaying, and now they're not going to get picked up from my ship. But it, I already have so much stuff in my inventory. It's really annoying already. Okay, so the demagnetizer is going to work. It should work, but I'm going to need a bunch of these if I really want to make this work. So every two blocks, because it only goes five. <sighs> But I guess if we really want to make it work better, we need to have it in the air or something. How did you get out? Okay, we need to fix that, I guess, somehow. I don't know. Maybe it's because that block up there is open. Maybe if we just, like, make a, a hole here. I don't think this block should break, actually, if I do this. Um, And then we need to put just, like, a block, I guess. Just one of these. Uh, No, not there. Right there. So hopefully they won't get any higher. They won't go above the mob grinder. They should stay below it and get stuck to it, I think. Hopefully. Hopefully it still kills them. I think it will. That should be fine. It's working, I believe. And there we go. So the mob farm should be working completely all we gotta do is kind of leave it alone okay now that that's working now we can do some other stuff but now we also have these demagnetizers that we kind of want to set up so at least for sure in this middle area that's good so it only goes two blocks which is annoying so one two one two and then there so this middle area should be protected at least somewhat since we probably won't go the hell <laughs> where did that come from that came from like the floor i'm still picking shit up because it oh it's not demagnetizing my shit okay so the demagnetizer doesn't work <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't do anything. How do you... Oh, haste. <laughs> cool. How do you filter items? <laughs> items can be filtered. What does that mean? Oh, cool. Items... Oh, we can we can decrease the range, increase the range. Okay. Experience. I don't want to pick up experience from that far. I don't want to pick up items from that far. We're going to put it down to five again. Uh, We're going to blacklist some items. So we're going to blacklist uh some of these things. So I don't want any of these things to be picked up, like string or spider eyes. Uh, ability totems are fine. We'll leave them there. That, like that. Uh, so magnet on and shift right click it and put it in the here. There we go. Those items are being filtered. They shouldn't be picked up. At least they shouldn't. <laughs> Hopefully. Uh, I don't think there's any... What is this? Match MBT? I don't know what MBT is. I'm gonna just leave it at that. But now we're only picking up in a five block radius, which is probably fine. This is the way the other one was, so we'll, we'll leave it at that. Maybe we'll we'll turn it up to six, just so it's a little better. But um, there we go. So that should kind of fix it. I think it's on. It is on. And we're gonna pick up a bunch of stuff, but not everything. It should be fine. At least it's at least the normal Minecraft stuff should be you know kind of taken out. It should be okay. But there we go. So let's start. Um. Oh, I guess we didn't mark rotten flesh. So let's go fix that one because that's a that's a, gonna be a common one. Uh, that one, and then I guess our last one will be slime balls because for some reason. I'm getting a shit ton of them. And then um arrow. Arrow sounds good. Okay, there we go. That fills up the entire thing. Why do we have chicken? <laughs> Why do we have that? Uh okay, I'm sorry. This is like a mess of shit. Okay, step assist, step assist. Um, uh, I don't want the step assist. We'll put them in there. Good news is we have a stacking upgrade, so that should kind of let some stuff fit in here a little bit better. Same thing with the totems, they're also stacking, which they weren't before. So that's good. The stacking upgrade is really, really nice. So uh we're good on that. So let's turn that back on, put that away, and let's just step out of the way. Uh well, first we're gonna make sure we got all the levels, retrieve all the levels, and then go do this. So here we go. Ability totem, we got some haste. I want to put it on, and it should make us. Uh, oh, that's attack. All oh, right, that's not haste. That's that's mining speeds. That's good. We'll put that there. But we should have our um our strength and fertility ability totem here. So we're gonna leave the fertility off. But I do want to turn on the strength ability totem, and then there we go. So we can check these through here. Um, we have some more levels. Hopefully, with time, we'll get some good ones because I know there is a really good one that I want out of this, and hopefully we'll get it. But for now, I've just kind of got to leave it. Step assist, we've got three of them already, uh, and we'll leave them be. So maybe we can get some looting upgrades in there. So what do we? The looting might be kind of expensive uh actually no it's not it's just uh oh no no it does it needs a looting book it needs a looting book and die and so the looting book is the expensive thing so for now we're not gonna be touching that but um at over time that should be working plus it's also chunk loaded so it should work but now let's actually get into today's episode and actually maybe get into doing the other one so one of the things we need to do is swab a sheep or just any animal and then we also need to go get some more experience so we need to get our actually we need to go back and get our experience out of us and put into this thing again so we can pick it up well i guess we might not need to do that all we got to do is kind to pick up uh in there so we need to store all the levels and then take out two more uh and then do this and then store or store all the levels back in there that's fine there we go so now we have four more of these things and now we can make our our better one our, our animal one so we need seed we need wheat we need a uh, potato and a carrot and a beet i think do we have that there it is that should be everything to make this item right here a nutritious chicken feed which is essentially what we just got but it does the opposite. It spawns passive mobs. So all we got to do is feed this to a normal chicken, which we got to find one now. Um, but I guess it doesn't matter. We can go get one in the thing over here. So there's some in here. We'll go feed this one. And there we go. There is our egg. <laughs> yeah, there is our egg. 
to toss all of these just in case it was gonna give us the other one so there's our golden egg it can, it's gonna create a five by five area of delightful dirt using grass dirt mycelium or farmland crates from nutrition chicken feed so all we're gonna do is go over here and go set this up on this farm since we don't need it to be dark it's not gonna be all we're gonna do is kind of set this up up here so i need to go actually no there's an area to go in i do need to get up there in a second once we have the farm running but for now all they gotta do is set this up so i need to have my glass ready to go cover up the area so we need to get to our center block now this is on yet and go spawn the life of dirt and get out of here quickly because it already starts spawning a bunch of stuff and as you can see there's some starbuncles there's some i don't know what the hell those things are but now what we're gonna do is turn on our little fans and uh send them into the mob grinder <laughs> so there they are there they go and let's turn on one of these and then that should be fine so that should be good and should be running um i'm not 100 percent sure if the grass kind of stops spawns or not but um it for now it should be okay uh, hopefully that grass won't grow anymore and if it does then hopefully we don't have to deal with it um but now our magnet is still gonna probably be picking up this stuff i wish this had priority um but it doesn't seem to have priority the good news is hopefully my magnets at a lower level enough so that if i'm standing here it should be fine um but there we go so we got some step assist totems i don't really want those they're not really my, my thing I, I always turn off step assist because it's annoying um, so this guy got out. He clipped out again. But um, he's kind of still stuck, huh? We'll put him in there. Put him there. Sugar. All right. So this is filling up. We got a new one. We got some resistance on this totem. So here we go. Resistance is take less damage from attacks. So It'll be kind of good. So let's take out all our levels. Uh, retrieve this and put it on. And then we're going to put this away. And put that away. And then we're going to just uh, store the levels again. So good news is that these both will be collecting levels. These both will be getting, giving us items. Bad news is that I don't know why it's not spawning. <laughs> there we go. Now it's spawning. Um, so this should slowly also be spawning. I'm not sure why it's stuttering but it should be working it is force loaded so i guess i don't know if we're close or far away it should be working hopefully it should be fine the fans are on every fan is on so everything should be kind of running into the mobs there we go so maybe it just goes a little slowly so it doesn't crash the game maybe i need to be far away as well so there's oh, there's some stark bunkles that seem to be spawning with some presents on their back which are really pretty but uh we're not going to be touching those right now we're going to be leaving everything the way it is and uh yeah let's continue what we're doing and let's just do some other stuff because that was fun but now it's time to move into some other things so i think with that set up now now they have infinite experience and infinite items hopefully we'll get the totem we want uh, let's move into making i think our upgrade in power so we need to get to power which is a little annoying because into power we need to upgrade um into the bees mod which is not what i wanted to do today or ever but that's fine the bees are not my favorite um at least to set up in a mod pack that i'm like i don't want to worry about but it should be fine so to get the creeper bee um we need to get tnt in a regular minecraft bee so obviously we should be able to get regular minecraft bees by spawning uh, like where's resources for bees it should be here productive bees um let's see so productive bee to get started in this mod you don't need to find some honeycombs and honey bottles find yourself a beehive and let the bees do their work for a little um shearing it and when the full uh your honeycombs and glass bottles give you honey bottles win this bee quest requiring combs and stuff like that so give me a little reward and then we should be able to get into the actual ores and stuff like that soon so i guess we'll go through um through this quest line but let's go to sleep first i think we actually bought those bee capturing devices i don't know where they are or what they were what were they called again uh the capture bees oh, actually it's probably not what the item is called what are they called uh bee cage i think we bought some all right well time to sleep i guess <laughs> let's go go inside uh let's go to bed <laughs> and we'll look for the bee cages in a bit because i think we bought some from a villager a second ago and i was like there well in the last episode i i didn't think they were gonna be useful but i guess they are so uh bee cages bee cage uh there it is um they should be somewhere I swear to God, I bought some bee cages and I kept them for something. Uh, maybe I put them away over here. Yes, I did. I put them away in here. Okay, thank God. I was like, I didn't want to toss them. <laughs> I didn't toss them, I don't think. Uh, all right, so we need some campfires as well. So campfire, there you go. Um, so it's just logs, sticks, and coal, right? So we should have, do we have those things in our inventory? We don't have coal in our inventory. So let's go grab some really, really quickly. So with the mob farm running, I'm very happy with it going. I think letting it run through this entire episode, we should get more than what we need to keep doing this. So I'm very happy with it. Oh, we just need some sticks. So there we go. So we'll do that. Make as much as we can, which is 10. There is a bee over here, or well, at least there is a hive over here, but there's bees that are kind of like floating around in the void. So what I'm gonna do is kind of get rid of this. I believe, I'm gonna break it. Well, actually, I'm gonna just um, I'm gonna just shear it because I I can see the bees on the map and they're like in the void. <laughs> So they shouldn't do anything. Uh, or maybe they'll pathfind back once once they get angry. I don't know. But I'm going to just kind of like break it and get rid of it because they're not going to come back. They're kind of really far away in the void. Um, so what I'm going to do, I think you need to put it next to like a daisy or something. It said somewhere to get started into this. You need that. Um, we've got that. And we need a honeycomb bottle. Can we get a honeycomb bottle from... Oh, we don't have glass. Do we have glass? Three. This and, and like this. Maybe. 
Okay, if I'm remembering correctly, all we gotta do is grow a tree next to a daisy to get uh, get a beehive to spawn. I might be wrong though. I, I think it's one of the modded things, but I, I don't really remember. So all we gotta do is kind of put it next to a daisy and have this grow. And uh, maybe it gives us a better chance. I'm not sure. I swear to God it was a daisy. Maybe it's like a poppy or something. But um, I think that's all we gotta do. We kind of just kind of like grow some trees, hoping for more bees. And uh, it should be fine. Hopefully over time we'll get one. Obviously these short ones aren't gonna work. So we need to really quickly do this. So let me do this on my own. We'll try and get a beehive. It should be pretty quick, um, but I just want to get one really quickly so we can maybe store them. Uh, but I guess huh, I really do want to get a beehive, but there's, there's the issue of it's gonna, they're gonna die. <laughs> they're gonna die really quickly because of the way they are. Uh, jump boost and bone mealer. Perfect. So I'm actually gonna grab these out really quickly while I was, uh, I just wanted to check these. So bone mealer, we'll put it in there and then jump boost, we'll put it in there. We should be able to use those. Um, and then let's put away the rest of the levels. So be fine. Oh, we have a, we have a weird ass jump now. <laughs> it's a tiny little jump, but it's funny. Okay. And then this one dropped another jump boost totem. So we're going to put that on as well. But we need um, some more levels. So retrieve all and then jump boost and put it on. Um, is this going to fuck with me like really bad? It's not that bad, actually. I kind of like it. It's kind of interesting. Um, but there we go. So let's let's get out of here before we pick up any more items. And let's just leave. I really wish I could fly. But jumping like this is fine. <laughs> um... But yeah, we need to get some bees. So, but what we need to do as well is right. I need to make a big area for them. So I think we're going to make a big room. So we might spend a lot of today just kind of building. And I think we're going to do that a lot out of dirt. I think we have dirt seeds, right? We did make that at some point. So yes, we do have a shit ton of dirt and we should have dirt seeds. We have tier one dirt seeds. So we have them here. Are these tier ones? These are tier one. So I'm going to replace them with the dirt seeds. And we're going to really quickly farm a bunch of this. I think that'd be a good idea. So we're going to get as much dirt as we can and make a big platform. And then we're going to make a big roof over it because I think that's the best way to do it. So. So there we go. I'm not really getting essence right now. So let's do this on our own really quickly. And then I will see you all once I have that platform kind of built up and like kind of ready to be used. So I'll see you all in a hot second. All right. I think it's coming along quite nicely. I think we're going to be using glass for most of the edges. Uh, I do want to have some grass on here. But what I'm going to do is just kind of like, um, I don't want to connect these. I'm going to just take out a, oops. I'm going to just take out a piece um, of grass here and then connect it over here. Uh, just put it in the middle. Uh, I hope that enderman didn't come from the farm. I think, I guess it must have. This is the only place that shit can spawn. So let's put this away and let this kind of grow. I wonder if um, bone mealing or something will work. I don't know. That's fine. We'll leave it there. I think I'll get grass seed and stuff like that later, but um, you should be dying. I hate that they're getting out somehow. Um, I don't know. I don't see any more getting out, but obviously some are. But this is our big area. This is our main idea. We have another section over here. We're going to probably build this a little bit bigger. Uh, I'm probably not going to get round but I'm probably going to have this and just like flatten out in the back or something. I'm not sure. But I do want to have this big area for the bees because I'm going to need a shit ton of bees and I need a big area for the bees, but also a big area that can uh, be closed. So we're going to worry about that too. Um, but good news is that we have glass as an eam seeable item. So what I'm going to do is just take out a bunch of this, especially from here, because I don't want to hold it in there and put it all in here, put all the cobbles in that we don't need. And then we're going to oh, have a feather in here too. Maybe I should put this in away somewhere just in case I, I accidentally use them all um and then we're gonna just use all the cobblestone we're using it as an emc item you know it's just helping um or just backlog of stuff so when i want to convert something especially something that's like a very cheap cobblestone i can put it a very cheap item like that i can put it in there this is we're gonna make a bunch of glass and i know i'm gonna need to let's just really quickly uh take out our regular glass there it is and then mark it in the system and then let it run for a little while so we're gonna let that run and make a bunch of glass it is also a one emc value so this is probably gonna make all of these into glass essentially unless i leave it to run even more and it'll make even more but for right now we're gonna make that much into glass and we're gonna make it all into clear glass and then um it'll look really pretty so for now let's um keep going and keep making this area i want to kind of close it off and have a good start for when we uh, get the bees so i'm gonna just get started in the bees i don't know how much time we've already been recording because we've got the mob farm set up but um that's what the main thing that we're gonna do next i think is but actually what we probably should be doing well we need to get into power but obviously that's kind of what we need to go into the bees first and we'll set all this up after uh because we're gonna be using lava generators for now and then we'll get into um uh and then we'll get into uh, uh the uh other stuff so we need to get the urinate bee the urinite bee um uh, which is fine but also it seems like uranium is also made from the bee stuff i think that was the other way to make this i think i had to go into bees or something um i think maybe i'm not 100 percent sure uranium uh where was the in the bees it wasn't the bees the radioactive combs so radioactive combs comes from the radioactive bees which are the uh, the exact actually they're the exact same thing so getting into these bees will allow me to get into um the radioactive and the uranite bees your uranite 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 there you go <laughs> that's what that is so getting to this bee is like i guess they make eat either or um but you need certain flowers no they're actually the same thing um so i guess it's a chance to get either or the uranite 
uraninite or the radioactive. But um, for now, I need the uraninite one. The iron B and the, and the other B, the iron B is the same thing. So we'll, we'll probably be able to choose or it'll just be a choice or a random thing. But once we get this, we can make these into comb blocks and we can, or maybe not the comb blocks. We can make these into, oh my God, how do I make it? Into raw uranium. And then from there, I guess, do we need the bees or can we make uranium into, uh, 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 into an actual like usable thing? So uranium ingots, can we use them for mystical agriculture? Yes. We can make uranium seeds and they're tier four, which is great because then I can duplicate the seed. The same thing for uranite. I think uh, this makes the raw uranite, which makes uranite here. And then this also makes a seed, but it's a tier five, which is the issue. I think this would still be worth it because it, the bees are going to be annoying, um, but this doesn't duplicate, but making it is still going to be a lot easier like that. <laughs> than the than any other way for me at least i don't know making the, with the bees i don't know if uh doing it's gonna be pretty easy but we'll see and this makes two each which is eight so if we have enough honestly that'll make this really easy to go through and we can probably do that with every seed uh with every tier of power but i don't think we're gonna need that badly we'll just automate it with laser io but for now yes let's let's continue oh shit the glass is still going <laughs> uh let's get all the glass out and then we'll go make that wall um oh yeah we made a lot of glass <laughs> uh oh <laughs> that's fine all right and i think we're gonna just make this like a solid uh wall not to make it too complicated so we can do this quickly uh we're gonna make it a solid wall and then we're gonna have a top roof like a flat roof like we're doing with those machines like that i guess we could also just make a, com a complete clear glass box and we might do that because i honestly think it's quite pretty to have this glass so what we're gonna do really quickly is oh, why isn't that sheep dying over there where is that why isn't that sheep dying did the fans turn off or something Wait, what's going on they're like they're not moving because there's like uh why aren't they moving actually <laughs> is there something oh the grass gets in the way of the fans that's what i was thinking that's right that's what i forgot that's what i need to fix so this is gonna be a little bit more of a fix we're gonna have to do later but for now it's fine why would i want nausea <laughs> um <laughs> okay uh back up starting good uh jump to jump boost uh magnetize interesting another one that just does that what do we got in here while we're waiting step assist levitation haste water breathing and strength another strength we'll take that uh, well, we'll come back at them later well after we finish this but for now let's let's go finish this thing off and we'll come back um but let's make this little roof and we're gonna just flatten it out in the top but i think we will be using the glass and there's this clear glass so let's do this together actually because this is quite pretty <laughs> look at this shit right here wow okay i think we're gonna just um raise it up one more block and then we're gonna cap the roof off um wow that's pretty that is really nice though it is really good um and then we're gonna put the glass here can we reach that block no we can't so i'm gonna put the thing there and then just fly up here and then we're gonna finish this off so going back up uh there we go uh, let's just finish this and then we're gonna extend this out as far as we can uh and it's not gonna include the sides i don't think while we're here so i need to oh i actually actually ran out <laughs> i need to make more glass so let me do that really quickly too all right and then that should be all the glass we need um and it does seem like it's working is it working no we're actually accidentally adding we actually added more to the wall <laughs> i didn't want to do that that's exactly what i was trying to avoid uh so where's the wall here yeah there this is where we don't want stuff and we're gonna have to break a bunch of this with our hands because i ugh, that's fine <laughs> i didn't mean to do that okay that's what i was afraid of is that i was gonna accidentally grab a wall and like take out of something that i shouldn't have so i eventually did do that so there you go um so where do we want the wall to end here um there does seem to be yeah this is the roof right or is this not the roof this is not the roof it's a block lower or higher than that breaking this one will show me exactly where i need to be yes so there we go there we go okay there we go so i'm gonna have to do this by hand a little so what we're gonna do is uh well, can we put this on the wall? I don't think this is going to make it to the top. So I need to stick that up there and then fly up there. So all we're going to do is by hand really quickly outline a lot of this so it doesn't do that again. Um, and then we'll pull out the glass right now. So there we go. So I think I need to finish off this section, which I think I actually broke this wall too. I need to fix it. Ugh, it's annoying. That's fine. We'll fix the wall in a hot second. It's just really hard to see, which is great in a way. But at the same time, it's really hard to tell <laughs> if I'm doing this correctly or accidentally moving out something i shouldn't be um so this should be fine i think this should be working properly actually no i think this is taking out another block over here it is taking out another block over here god damn it i mean like ugh. I don't wanna, ugh. <laughs> okay, we'll fix this too. So we'll take it out there. Cause I don't want it up there. 
God damn it. I need this thing back. Give it back to me. Oh shit. It's too high. <laughs> okay. And it looks like that's actually working now. So now we can go back to this thing and go grab it. There we go. So now we can actually go pull out the glass the way I want to, I think. So there doesn't seem to be any issues um, on either side. I'm hoping um, there is a glass block up here that I want to break. Get rid of it. Um, and yeah, that should be good. So now all the way to the end, this should fill out the entire area and we should be perfectly safe to do this. Did my diamond wand just break? <laughs> <laughs> Whoops, I, I wasn't even thinking of the possibility of that breaking. I have never used it that much that it shattered. Oh my god. Okay, there we go. Um, did that mean that it didn't complete the... It didn't, yes. Yes, we need to complete this thing. There we go. Oh my god. I didn't even consider that to be a possibility because like of how little... Of how, how much I use it. Oh man. Really? Come on. I, I was so close to being done. <sighs> okay, let's get out of here really quickly and head back down. Damn it. <laughs> I just want to sleep. Like, let me sleep <laughs> really quickly. This it is kind of annoying to walk back in here every time, but it's also like, why do phantoms spawn so often? I I, feel, I swear to God, I'm sleeping often. I, I'm doing it like every night, I think. <laughs> All right, and there we go. I think that completes it. There's a hole over here for some reason, uh, but that that will complete it, and that should be it. That should be the completed roof. The only issue is that hopefully, well, hopefully I could, should be able to see a gap if there is one, but I think it's all complete, and I don't think there's any holes. It should be fine. Let's get back down, and let's make sure. I think it's fine. The glass seems to be in the right place. This one isn't, though. That one was pulled out farther. Well, actually, it's it's the same on both sides. I don't, I don't if I don't have to fix it, I'm not gonna fix it because it's even. <laughs> I don't have to fix it because it's the same. Um, so there, look at that. There's, it looks like there's not even a wall. That's so sick. <laughs> oh my god, the bees are gonna love it in here. Oh my god. Okay, so once we set up the bees in here, it'll be perfectly fine. I need to figure out how to grow them though, because I swear to God, it was with a daisy. Maybe it's not. Maybe, maybe it's not an oxy daisy. Is there like a regular daisy? No, there is. It's just called an oxy daisy. Um, maybe it's a dandelion actually. Maybe that's what I was thinking of. Because I kept thinking it was yellow. So maybe it's a dandelion. Do we have a dandelion? Um, I don't think we do. We would have to use some bone meal on some stuff. So maybe we can do that. Um, I'm pretty sure we don't. So let's let's go do that really quickly too. I don't know how long we've been running today's episode. But let's just um, let's keep going for a little while. And then we'll end off after we get some of this stuff set up. Uh, maybe we'll get something out of the mob farm. Or we'll get something out of the bees after we have this ready. There we go. So there are some dandelions. So assuming I'm right on this. It should give me a better chance. Or like a 100% chance if I grow it. I guess not a 100% chance. But it also wasn't the right um, size. Maybe if it's taller. Uh, there. there we go. Yeah, look, it did spawn the bees. Okay, great. Perfect. So now I can put a campfire down here. Move out of the fucking way. Campfire down there. There are the bees. I need to go make a door really quickly. Just like a regular standard door. Um, There we go. I was about to make a crafting table because I thought I was playing regular Minecraft. <laughs> um, There we go. So there's the, there's the thing. I'm not going to put a pressure plate because that'd be bad. But yes, it did work. So it's growing them next to a, daisy, or a dandelion. Seems to be the way to get the bees to spawn, which is amazing. But there's three in here, which is great. So all we got to do now is we'll start the bees soon. But all we got to do is get the honey bottle. So we need to just like bottle it, I guess. I don't know. Uh, so for now, there it is. Uh, let's toss. I'm going to just like, I don't know. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to just make a regular chest to put down in here for now. Because I don't have any space. Uh, I want to put some stuff away too. But I don't want to have so much shit in here that I don't really, really want to leave in here. Uh, just a little bit. Whatever I'm going to be using for the bees. Um, So there we go. There's that. Let's put that away. That away. I don't need it. And then we're good on that. Do you have anything new? Oh, you have a new one. Oh, you have Captive Dreams. It's the same one I have. Is it the exact same thing? It is the exact same thing. I didn't think you'd be reselling that. That's cool. All right. Oh, shit. There's another one. What the fuck do you got? The tree capitator. What? <laughs> I need that. I need that thing. Uh, efficiency 10, mending, silk touch, unbreaking 5, and chainsaw. The, the tree will be annihilated. You stay in there. I'll be right back. I'll be, I'll be right back. I need, uh, I need some emeralds. I think I have the diamonds, but... Yeah, I do. I do. I do have enough emeralds. At 41. How much did that thing cost before? I don't want to leave and he despawns because I very, I, I much, I very think this is going to happen. Uh, please don't leave. Uh, where are you? Where are you? Ah, uh, it's 45. I have 41. Fuck. Okay, let's go get that thing really quickly. I want to buy that axe. Okay, that should be everything. Please don't tell me he left. No, there seems to be two of them still in here. So which one are you? You're this one right here. There you go. You got my axe. The tree capitator. Efficiency 10. Mending, silk touch, unbreaking 5, and chainsaw. So I don't want to get rid of my diamond paxel because obviously it's very useful. But having these tools is very fun. Like the destructive diamond pick of grasping. It also is an apothecary. Um, or what is it? Apotheosis one. So it has the empty slots if I ever wanted to add. It's just so interesting. It's so nice. But there we go. So this grass will keep growing. Um, the bees also shouldn't leave. They should be perfectly safe in here. I see one. There's two. And the other one might be in the hive. Um, but I think we need some... Uh, 
uh, actually, we need some foliage around here. So we need some like flowers and stuff because there's not anything for the bees to grab onto. So there we go. The grass should also grow over time, but that's fine. So these, these are enough flowers for these guys. Let us leave and get out of here. He's staring. He really wants to get to this tree over here, but uh, you're not getting out of there, buddy. You're, you're staying there. <laughs> All right. So let's go back to this one and let's go fix an issue. I don't know how to fix this issue actually, but I, I would love to figure it out. <laughs> um, oh, we got, we got some more totems in here. What do we got? Step assist again. Oh, we got those, those are the three step assists. Okay. There's speed, visibility, strength again, jump boost, another one, water breathing, haste, um, levitation. I'm not sure what exactly that's going to do for me spoils bag oh we got some loot bags interesting okay so let's do this so we can attach some stuff to ourselves so there's one there's some haste which would be great there's some strength which is amazing and then there's another uh, there's a levitation so what does levitation do um how do we use levitation what the fuck are you doing uh what did i get whoa cracked solar gem boots chest plates leggings socketed light uh light weapons plus one fire damage please don't fade <laughs> core armor is plus 10 gravity and boots plus 25 step height interesting i didn't i, I keep forgetting about the uses in here i know we just talked about it but it's so strange um uh, there we go that's fine i'm pretty happy with all of that so should we be using step assist i think it'd be kind of funny if we kept the step assist and just use them because i think that's gonna allow me to step onto like three blocks tall <laughs> of a slope if i just like walk up it <laughs> yep there it is you know infinite step assist up there that's pretty amazing i actually kind of like that it's kind of funny um but there we go so there we go there's not much other in here i don't know how to use levitation um it was in there right i mean it, what the fuck are you doing oh does it levitate mobs or does it levitate things around me? Whoa, that's what levitation does. Why would I want that? <laughs> I guess it kind of blocks them from attacking me because they can't walk anymore, but I don't, I don't want to keep that on. <laughs> that's gonna fuck with the shit around me. Where's my ability bottle? Uh, let's take that off. Uh, levitation, not something I want on. <laughs> there we go, okay. It's kind of funny though. It's kind of interesting. All right, so we got some spoils bag as well. Let's see what these give us. What the fuck is that? Baconator? What the hell is a Baconator? <laughs> oh, there's some force stuff in here, okay. Oh, you know what? I'm just remembering force was like a thing that you used in like in sky factory the original sky Factory. what do you mean you're carrying nothing what do you want to carry what is this oh wait oh i can increase this range i hadn't increased the range on this thing oops <laughs> uh there we go <laughs> I'm so stupid. I wasn't increasing the range. There we go. The magnetizers now hit a higher range. So it does go on a 5x5 five five on the outside. That's good. Uh, I forgot to do that. <laughs> uh, so we need to put one on like this side as well and stuff like that. Because I'm, I'm just walk walking by. I don't want it. I don't want my stuff to be picking up here. There we go. Let's increase the range over here. And let's just put one uh, on the on the front of the other one too. In case we do go over there. Um, but there we go. So there we go. increase the range. I don't want my magnets to work here. Uh, there we go. And then I want to get up here yup that's just gonna pick me up okay great uh and then it got picked up i think immediately into here so it's there it is uh and let's just uh i think leaving it over here is probably fine um i don't need it everywhere but you know it'll help so my magnets don't pick up a lot of stuff that should be a bigger area now i should actually not be picking up shit that i don't want hopefully i don't know though because i definitely have no idea uh do we have anything that we can use yes we have some leggings that we can use and a helmet over here that we can use another apotheosis gear do we have a i thought i saw a helmet oh it's right here this one. Oh, okay <laughs> <laughs> this jump boost is insane <laughs> oh my god okay but yeah i need to figure out how to fix this i saw a fix with um i guess i saw a fix with the uh uh, uh, uh what is it called the um like having a water contraption kind of like taking the grass out every once in a while i don't know if that's the way i want to do this i guess it's an easy way to do it i can have some water every once in a while ticking and just kind of flowing but i wish there was a better way does mob grinding utilities have a better way to deal with it like maybe there's just like a an inhibitor on this dirt or something i don't know maybe there's something that can like stop grass from growing and i was thinking like maybe i can use string or something but it blocks the fans like no matter what i do i think it blocks it completely like, let me see the area it's stopping there because there's an item in the way that it can't get past so it's not going far enough i wonder if i put them higher it would just fix the issue like if they weren't god damn it are you serious can you stop <laughs> i slept the uh, fuck off um oh i'm gonna need more glass i have a i have more clear glass though but there we go like, some of those guys got out what if i put a fan here right oh i need to be on the inside to put it uh let me um let me go to sleep because this is fucking annoying me i'm gonna go to bed <laughs> and then we're gonna come back and go fix that hopefully that'll be the the end of today's episode actually and then maybe we'll record one more time with the time we have i don't know how much time we got though um, i think we have time to do one more stupid power went out i, I wish i had like <laughs> i wish i had more time to record but I, I i mean i'm still gonna record three episodes i guess so it's fine but like come on i could have done it earlier i would have been done already by now and i could have got more stuff done but whatever so there we go so let's turn this off uh let's turn that off and let's just put 
the thing on the inside so i need to get in let me um break it like a low <laughs> there we go break it like that and then put our upgrades in it and then get it back on this side and then show the area does it fix it it kind of does you know like it kind of does uh but not really <laughs> <laughs> if it had a height upgrade, that would fix it. But I don't have any extra height upgrades, I don't think. I think they all got put into here. Um, so I need to see this area really quickly. So is it going all the way to the ground? It is going all the way to the ground. I think I only needed two. So what if I put a height upgrade in here? Um, just like one. Um, oh, yeah. That seems to fix it. It doesn't get blocked anymore. Interesting. What a, what a weird fix. Okay, there we go. So all we got to do, instead of having that weird contraption thing, we got to just go into here and go fix the glass. So uh, there we go. Go fix this here. And then put the uh, height upgrade, the distance upgrades back into you. And then go put the glass back that should if i'm correct fix the mob farm yes it does wow what a weird issue what a weird fix too that's the area there this is your area why are you not oh it, it was showing there oh i'm looking at the area for this thing this thing now is oh because this is the height upgrade that's what that did i just need to make more now i i, I took them out <laughs> but that's fine i'll make a few let me go get my feathers because i think they're at home somewhere uh and let's make some height upgrades fix that up but that seems to be working so that's great that's a good fix all right and there is our last uh thing so this should be I think it's on i can see it from the bottom right yes so all the fans are on everything's working so now the mob farm is working properly i don't have to worry about that issue over here i believe but um of course if i ever had to that's the way to fix it which is fine. So that's great. Conduct power, levitation, water breathing, jump boost, invisibility, and hunger one. Why would I want hunger one? Another jump boost is really funny though, but I shouldn't be doing that. Honestly, it's kind of fucking with me a little. <laughs> um, and then there we go. So is there anything in here? Is more nausea. This magnetize. And I guess that is going to give me like the, <laughs> the same power that I already have, but um, just in different form. But I would love to get more of these totems because there's obviously one that I really want. Um, and we will get it later. Hopefully within the next episode, we'll be able to get that. But now we can start the bees. I think that'll be the end of the episode though. And we'll start with the bees next episode and continue you like watching for whatever we want um jump height i think we're gonna honestly get rid of a few of them uh the jump boost we're at four so let's get it down to a two the jump boost two is probably still really useful um but it's a little more easy <laughs> it's a little easier to manage um so we got some haste jump boost resistance some speed and some step assist which i think we have the max step assist we do which is three blocks which there we go um so that's good uh what is this the fan one yes it is so there we go that fixes that issue so now all the mob farms should be working at high capacity they should be doing the best they can and i'm very very happy about that so yeah we're good oh we're all we're all good on that so i don't have to worry about anything oh my god we'll get into the bees in the next episode and we'll try and get to our uranium power and stuff like that so we can use for big reactors but also just whatever else we need from there um i really want to get that totem already but we'll get it soon hopefully uh, hopefully within the next few episodes um but yeah so I think the grass might actually also stop mob spawns a little, but it should be fine. I'm really hoping it should be fine because no, they're spawning. It's just, it feels like less, but maybe it's just the way it is. I don't know. Okay. But the bees are working. Uh, one thing we can do really quickly is to end off the episode is to get the glass bottles. I think I can just right click these. Yes. That gives us our bees, be our guest. So that upgrades are very first things. It gives us another dandelion, which is exactly what we need to make more bees. XP, honeycombs, and honey blocks. So we can, um, we can put another dandelion down and like make another tree setup thing. I, I don't know if we have a tree on us. I actually don't think we do. So eventually at some point we could, but there's more down lines. Um, and then that sets us up into the next section. So capturing bees. To get our own bee farm going, we'll have to find us some bees and capture them. Right-click a bee with this capture it. Uh, adventure can also net you some sturdy bees, uh, sturdy bee cages. So yeah, we can't do that because we don't have a farm like that or we're not in the overworld. But um, for now, we can just make another one. So let me really quickly get some stuff here and we'll go plant this next tree and we'll get some more of this later. But for now, this should do. Let's put it, make sure it's a little far. So I'm, I don't accidentally not get the right thing. Yeah, there we go. Let's break that because it's not gonna give us the thing we need uh and get the tree back and then uh grow this one does it grow one no it didn't actually let's kind of keep going for it <laughs> that didn't do it either am i getting unlucky wow maybe i just got lucky the other time there we go now i got more saplings good hi uh there's nothing around here either so one more time not there another time weird i thought i would get a lot faster i swear to god it was if i put the net line down it was a higher chance <laughs> and that's why it gave me one but um I, the trees are growing so shittily now why are they growing like that okay i don't know I, I thought it would spawn really quickly but we'll figure it out later either way we're in an encapsulated area the bees are fine the grass is growing so once this is full we'll be fine um we'll make all those nests later but once we have another one of those beehives which we'll do in the next episode we'll be completely ready to start the mod um we have our sturdy bee uh cages here we have five of them we only need four so we'll collect them all once we need to but for now we'll let them keep going but that is the end of today's episode i hope you guys enjoyed i'm not gonna actually punch in here because i don't want to hit the bee <laughs> but um we got the other farm set up and they're working
working properly now. They're working really well. And uh, and yeah, I, I think we've made some good progress. I'm very, very happy about how far we've gotten. We got the bee cage set up. This entire area is completely locked off. And um, yeah, we're making some good progress. Once we get that ability totem, I think we'll be pretty set. And um, the bees are the next thing to do. Once, we'll, once we do that, we'll get, be able to get into power. So we'll get into the power mod as well as big reactors. Those two will be unlocked for us with that. So we can step right into big reactors if we really wanted to. But um, we need to have a way to automate the creation of those things. And now we, we don't currently have one. But we can get infinite power from the power mod with some lava. So we might be doing that instead, for at least for right now. And it'll give us enough power to power everything on our base and even more sieves and hammers uh, that we want later on. So for now, I think that's it. I'm pretty excited to continue one more episode today. And then, um, yeah, excited to record next week again. And I'm excited for you guys to see these episodes. So yeah, episode um, two just came out, I think, today, as of like an hour ago. Episode seven or something of EMC to the Sky came out, the one right after the uh, all the mods episodes. So that one's coming out. I hope you guys enjoy that one as well, if you are here for all the mods. But um, but yeah, go check out both series. Uh, I mean, I'm, I'm the same person. I'm enjoying both of them. They're both Skyblocks, so you will enjoy one or the other, maybe both of them. So yeah, leave a like on today's episode if you enjoyed. And I will see you all in the next one. I'm very excited to see you then. So yeah, see you guys then. Bye.